let's go ahead and build this project it's very simple to make the project i have this chassis ready here i am using this from my previous project my last video you may have seen i used this with another uh, motor driver and in this video you will see uh, more details about how to build the project i will also share the link of my website where you can visit and copy the code from there and also you will see more details about how to build projects i upload you know uh, many projects and uh, every single detail about the project is on uh, my blog my website you can visit that link will be in in the comment sorry in the description so uh, i have arduino uno and hw130 motor driver shield that i'm using here It's quite simple to build this project so follow along and uh, you should be able to uh, build this project.
So wire connection is done, it's working. So it's time to upload the code. To get the code, you can visit this uh, URL and it, it is also given in description. You can also read more about how this project works and uh, wire connections. You can copy the code from here and paste into Arduino ID and uh, within code uh, there are comments read the comments and understand how how this this works actually and here before you upload the code to arduino you need to install a library the adafruit motor shield okay so copy the name from here and uh, go to tools click on manage libraries and put the name here when you search the name here you will see the list okay so scroll down and you will see the name adafruit motor shield library and there was one more up so i installed both of them Now let's go ahead and connect the wire to Bluetooth module. Connection is again very simple. There are just four wire needed to a uh, one for water supply like VCC, ground, TX and RX. And we don't have to solder anything. Just try and connect the way I did. okay so it has been connected hope that if you follow the way i did uh, you should be able to connect one issue i found here is uh, two motors are rotating clockwise and two motors anti-clockwise so i will have to just swap the motor connection and it should fix the issue it's a very simple again So this is done, the M1, the motor one issue is fixed. The same I will do for the last one. Okay, so this is also done right now and uh, if I test, it's working quite smoothly. It can turn right, turn left. 
back, forward, forward, everything is working fine.